Hi, welcome to um, week 10. Uh, this is a clarification on uh, uh, the final project. Um, it's 25% of your grade, so that's important. Um, it builds on the week three topic and annotated bibliography and the week four presentation. So these are all connected. The, the week six project was separate. That's a different project. Your final paper is due on Friday at 11.59 Central Time, last day of class. This is standardized now throughout the school. Uh, the re writing requirements is 8 to 10 type double space pages, not counting title page or references. Of course, use Times New Roman 12 point font. You need a minimum of seven peer reviewed sources and you need to use APA format. Um, the structure, uh, these would all be level one headings. Um, number one, you have. You, do your title page, uh, then you have introduction. You do not actually have to list a heading for that. That's optional. Then list a heading literature review as a level one heading. Next one will be theory evaluation then applying theory to practice, ethical standards, and then conclusion, last of all, references. Um, this is the scoring guide. Make sure you check the scoring guide and read. Um, the distinguish uh, criteria in the scoring guide. This is what I'm required to use in uh, grading your paper. So you want to look this over. Um, in the scoring guide, it, it, the sections, the major sections are applying theory to practice, reviewing the literature on historical and foundational theories, uh, demonstrating integration of ethical standards, and then writing in a, uh, manner that reflects graduate level form and style. Um, I re recommend you submit your paper to Turnitin Review. Um, post the link when you submit your paper. Uh, I submit papers to Turnitin if, if you do not. Make sure when you submit to Turnitin that you review highlighted content can't go just by the percentage. You have to look at what type of content is highlighted. It will also, they tend to highlight references as uh, copied content. Also, if you have a quote that's marked correctly, it usually it's highlighted. So you have to literally um, look at each highlighted uh, section in the Turnitin report. Uh, any copied content from sources must be shown as that is quoted using quotation marks or block quote format. Block quote formats for quotes of 40 words or more. Quotation marks 39 or less. And then you provide a citation for the source. Include the page number for the quote in the citation. If there's no pages, use a paragraph number. Um, so some common APA format rules, just as a reminder, I already covered the first one. Um, APA uses a comma after the last entry before the word and in a series. I know in, um, it's grammatically correct to not do that, but APA uses that comma, so use the comma. Also, APA writing style uses a jagged right margin, so do not use a right aligned margin. The rule for numbers is use numbers for 10, number 10 and higher, or when representing units of time. So like three weeks, use the number. Three people, spell it out. Use the word and in your narrative text and use the ampersand in citations and references. Uh, the in-text citation is included as part of the sentence. So what you do is you take the punctuation um, at the end of the sentence and move it to the end of the citation. Also, um, if you use quotation marks, any punctuation goes inside the quotation marks, not outside. Uh, APA requires a city and the two-letter abbreviation for state for all publisher locations, including New York. That's a change. Fifth edition said if you had common cities like New York, Boston, 
was not needed, but in 6th edition they standardized it. Um, only use one space after all punctuation in the reference section. Uh, use italics for publication titles. That What would that be? That would be books, journal titles. Um, also, journal titles, journal articles must have either a DOI or a retrieval statement. And if you use a retrieval statement, then what you need to do, see if I can move this up a little bit. If you use a retrieval statement, you need to use the URL for the journal homepage. And the way you do that is you simply do a Google search uh, uh, for the home page. And uh, that's an easy way to do it. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get this. I will post this, uh, uh, this link. You can't see it right now. I don't know if I can get it to come down. And that's, uh, Oh, I see. It's trying to, it's trying to connect. Um, I have a link there to help you look up DOI, so I'll make sure you get that in the classroom. Um, thank you.